Welcome back for another Baby Safety Month video with Crystal Endress, our pediatrics nurse practitioner here in downtown Edgerton at the Fulton Square Clinic. I'm Jason Haifman, the marketing and PR person with Edgerton Hospital and Health Services. Crystal, yes. um, we're learning more and more and trying to help people out with resources for baby safety during mm -hmm. this month. Mm -hmm. One thing that is, is something that people should know more about is purple crying. Let's yes. talk about that. So purple crying, another name for it would be um, also colic. Um, these babies will um, scream and parents just don't know what's going on and it becomes very frustrating. And I feel like the reason I like talking about this is because this can re um, reduce their risk for shaken baby syndrome. But with purple crying and educating parents early on about this, that there's safe ways to go about it and teaching them the um, signs and symptoms and how to walk away from it and know that nothing is wrong with their baby, um, but it's okay to just walk away. Let's talk a little bit more about that on a personal level. Mm -hmm. You're a parent, I'm a parent. Mm -hmm. um, it's not the easiest job or role in the world, is it? It's, no. It can be tough, and especially when you have all of these other things on your plate, you've got work, you've got all these other responsibilities, mm -hmm. you have this new being that you're trying to care for, mm -hmm. and sometimes you just don't know mm -hmm. um, what they need or what they want because that you, they can't communicate with you yet. Yes. Um, so that can be a really difficult thing, and, and you need to give yourself that ability to kind of step away, like you said, if you need to. Definitely. I always tell parents, um, just put your baby down in a safe spot. You need to recognize those symptoms of yourself to know that you're getting angry and frustrated, and they will be okay. If you just set them in their crib, putting them on the floor is fine too, and just walking out of that room when you know there's nothing else that you can do is the safest thing for the baby. Other resources for purple crying, uh, where can people kind of learn more? Because I think it is something, the more you can try to prepare yourself for those moments as a parent, the better off you'll be in those moments, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so um, the CDC, I, I love the CDC and the American Pediatrics um, website as well. They offer some great resources. Um, and also purple crying stands for an acronym. So purple is the peak of crying. Um, the U is the just unexpected it just comes up and then the r is resist soothing so you're trying to coddle soothe rock it's just they're resisting that um, the other p is pain like face so they're just really red and stressed and grimacing um, and then it's just long lasting it feels like it does last forever but it does go away um, and then it normally happens in the evening so how do people know the difference when uh, between purple crying situation or mm -hmm. normal crying that where they can comfort their child and they will calm down quickly. So a lot of it is, is their diaper changed? Um, do they have a fever? Are, do, are they having other signs and symptoms of illness? Um, also just looking to see if there's any kind of constrictions like um, sometimes these hair ties um, around fingers or toes mm -hmm. can happen too and that can be very painful. So just making sure that none of their fingers are really extra purple or losing circulation. Just those things you can do at home at first to find, okay, are they hungry? Are they changed? Um, is there any illness going on? If all those check out and you're not finding anything, most times the baby is okay and they're just very frustrated and going through those colic-like uh, symptoms. But I always say call your primary care physician um, or go to the ER if you do have that gut feeling there's something else going on. Crystal, thanks so much for yeah. sharing more information of course. Uh, related to Purple Crying for Baby Safety Month. Mm -hmm. um, we'll be back again soon with one more video this month. It's Baby Safety Month in September. Resources, links in the comments below.